Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Knowledge Unlimited and please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to not to miss our future videos. So in this video, I am going to do small experiment and I think you all guys will love it. And I think this is the best video till now in my channel. And what I am going to prove is that Kirchhoff voltage law, we know that potential sum of all potentials in a loop is a zero, is a special case of Faraday's law, especially Faraday's second law. What Faraday's second law states? We know that due to change in the magnetic flux, there will be a current or EMF induced in the circuit so that the EMF induced equal to change in flux linkage. So let me say that if the flux linking equal to zero, then the EMF, sum of EMS in the loop is equal to zero. That is the Kirchhoff voltage law. So let me do the experiment to show you more clearly. This experiment, I am going to use a breadboard. I already connected resistors to it and a closed loop which is made by me I connected two resistors in series with a connecting wire and a solenoid which was prepared by me and a 9 volts DC supply and a multimeter so now let's do the experiment let me see the potential across the battery focus the value here it is approximately 7.5 96 volts now let me connect this battery to the circuit and here I connected a resistor in series with another resistor and here I connected a supply of 7.96 volts a DC supply of 7.96 volts so let me see the voltage across the first resistor in the circuit It's about 3.92 volts across R1 and let me see across the second resistor. It's the same 3.94 volts across R2. If you see it's 0 0.02 volts variation which is caused due to we are doing it practically. But if you sum these two, it's approximately 8 volts, which is equal to 8 volts here. So now clearly we know that by Kirchhoff voltage law, the sum of potentials in the loop is equal to 0. So as this is the series circuit, the current will flow in this direction. So 7 point minus 7 point 96 volts equal to 3 point 92 plus 3 point 94, which is almost equal to 0. If we bring them on one side of either RHS part or RHS part then it will be zero. So this is the Kirchhoff voltage law which is satisfied in this case. Now I want to do another case which violates the Kirchhoff voltage law. So this is where the motive of my experiment lies. So let us do that now. Before going directly into the experiment first let, let me explain what I am going to do. So now I am going to place a resistor R1 and another resistor R2 in a closed loop. Now we know that there will since there is no source in the circuit the potential across R1 and R2 will be zero. But what I am going to do is I am going to place a solenoid in between the circuit as due to the change in magnetic flux there will be a current induced in the conductor so there will be current induced in this closed loop so that there will be some potential which may be small or big will be produced across these two resistors which are same since I have, I have took the same values of R1 and R2 so there will be same values will be produced across these two points so let me do this experiment the main key point of doing this is due to placing the solenoid in the circuit there will be some potential across these two resistors so if you gonna add these two values Therefore, sum of voltages in the closed loop will not equal to zero in this case. So why this happens? To know this, let me write down here the Faraday's second law. Faraday's second law states that due to the change in flux, there will be EMF induced in the circuit. So if this flux linking in the surface is equal to or in the loop is equal to zero, then the sum of potentials is equal to zero, which is called as the Kirchhoff voltage law. So by proving this, we can say that Kirchhoff voltage law is a special case of Faraday's law. So let us do the experiment.
So here I placed my solenoid connected with a DC supply. So there will be magnetic field around this area. And here I will measure, you can see voltmeter so that I can measure the value voltage that is induced in the loop. And this is my loop. So let me place that. So you can clearly see in the multimeter there is an old potential difference between the resistors that is present. You can see the multimeter varying the values. So you can see that multimeter varying the values. It's about 2 millivolts that is induced across these terminals. So now let me change these two terminals. And again you can observe about uh, in the negative direction. You can observe the same 2 millivolts induced in the circuit. So by this we can see clearly and this experiment gives the feel that uh, there will be potential induced due to the solenoid by placing the solenoid in the center due to the magnetic flux. From this experiment we can say that Kirchhoff voltage law is the special case of Faraday's second law and I think you all guys enjoyed this video a lot since in our academics we will study that due to the change in the magnetic flux there will be an EMF induced in the circuit but here in this video we have clearly seen that the EMF induced in the circuit due to a solenoid that is placed in the loop. So I think you all guys enjoyed this video a lot and please share your feedback and valuable comments in the comment section and the topics you are feeling difficult with and please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to not miss our future videos. Thank you for watching.